I'm back at the camper today. I got that tacky shelf down that was added there above the stove. It just looked horrible and I wanted it down. I worked on the jackknife sofa again yesterday. The back bar was broken off of the frame and that made the springs all wonky. The uh, grid that was soldered or welded on there, the reinforcement to help, I guess, support the sofa, all those wells or solders, whatever they were, were broken off but one. I removed that. I had a problem getting the springs off. I, I tried using my all-in-one tool and oscillating tool to cut those, and that didn't work. So I borrowed the grinder from my husband and cut those off. So that just left the front of the frame and the two sides. So I cut a piece of plywood 20 by 65 and a half. And what I had to do, I didn't have a drill bit, a steel drill bit that would drill holes. But I had some self-tapping screws. So I used some self-tapping screws to drill some holes into the metal bar so that I could screw the plywood to the metal bar. And then I put the cushions that the this uh, foam that was on the old sofa onto the wood and then I took an old sheet and I stapled that to hold that in place until I can get some upholstery. Nothing is set in place because I got to take it all back out because I'm going to paint and floor and all that and the back is not covered with that sheet. I've just got it tossed over there. I, I'm thinking I may take the upholstery off of the back and put a sheet on that also before we upholster it. I'm not sure yet. But I'm also working on the bathroom. I've been patching the walls, taking down everything, patching the walls, and I've been working on this tub. It had caulk all down through that corner. It's not so bad there. It was just totally gooked up all around the trim on the tub. I got a lot of it off, but I've still got a lot to go. I've got most of it off the tub. There's still some scummy, like on the top sides of it there. And underneath the faucet, I can't get to with that hose. But I'm waiting on the shutoff valves for everything in this bathroom before I can go too far. I want to get rid of that vanity. I don't like it. It's too close to the toilet. It makes me feel claustrophobic. But I can't take that out until I get the shutoff valves. Same with the toilet. I can't take that out until I get the shutoff valves. I, my husband's ordered me some. Hopefully, they'll be here soon. So, once I get those, I can work on the, the flooring, uh, work on the walls, work on the tub. I'm going to uh, paint. We're going to have to do a, some sort of surround around the tub. I'm going to paint the tub with some tub enamel. And, again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a vanity yet or a sink. I want a smaller sink. Something that just doesn't make you feel like you're crowded. And maybe I'll do some shelving or something on the walls. I took the medicine chest down from there. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet. But that's where I am so far on my project.